Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna to show you how to remove people from your images. Okay, quick disclaimer here. This is a effect that takes a little bit of preparation for. This is something that you need to be thinking about as you're taking the pictures. If you're looking for a video where you have a single picture and you wanna take the people out of that, that is going to be a different video. Um, this is for something where you either have a really steady handheld shot or series of handheld shots from the same angle at something like a landmark, or you have the preferred method where you have your camera locked down on a tripod and you're taking a bunch of pictures as the people are moving around and you want to remove those people. Basically, you want to do all of the masking work without actually having to do the masking work. Okay, so let's dive right on into this. This will make sense in a second. So basically what we need to do is we need to import a set of photos that are preferably locked down that are at a specific angle and where the people or the stuff that you basically want to remove is moving around. This would work for something like if there were cars moving or trains moving. Um, the real key to this effect is to take as many pictures as you possibly can and to really think about where the people are and when you can take pictures when they aren't there. So what we need to do first is we need to import all of the pictures as a stack so that they become one layer so that we can do this effect. So in order to do that, we're gonna go up here and click File. We're gonna go down to Scripts and then Load Files into Stack. So once we click on that, a little dialog should appear. It came up on my other monitor, don't worry about that. And then from here, we're gonna click Browse, and you're going to obviously go find where all these pictures are. I already have it set up so that my pictures are here. And you can notice right off the bat, these are all from a locked down image um, or you know a uh, camera that's on a tripod. So go ahead and select all of your photos that are from the same angle and hit Open. If you notice, it'll open them all up right here. Uh, you can click the attempt to automatically align source images and what that's gonna do. It's really helpful if you have like a handheld shot. Um, it'll attempt to line them all up so that they're all on top of each other. Um, it will probably cut off the edges a little bit or do something so they can get them all on top of each other. And this effect is really dependent on how steady your hand is. If you switch the angle, it's gonna have a real hard time basically uh, aligning these source images. I'm not gonna click that because I already know that all my images are aligned and also because it takes a lot of processing power and a long time to do and uh, I just don't need to do it. The one thing that we do wanna check is going to be this little thing here that says create smart object after loading layers and that's basically what it's going to do is it's going to load all those images into Photoshop then it's gonna create a smart object out of all of them, basically put them all into an image stack. So I'm gonna click that button and then you just click okay. And you wait a second as it's going to load all of these images up. You can see it doing its work over here. Um, like you might have noticed, it did say over there um, scripts. So this is a script that Photoshop is doing. It's not exactly a built-in feature so much as it's using built-in features to create this sort of effect. Okay, so as you can see, the script has finished. It loaded all the layers over here as you saw them coming in and then put them into a smart object. I'm just gonna go ahead and recenter here real quick. Okay, so now we're here on the images. Um, this is just one of the eight images. You can notice that there are people here, and what you, you really want, you really don't want the people here. What I would like is an image where it's just this beautiful temple here, and you know you don't actually have to see the people. So what we're gonna do in order to accomplish that is now we're gonna go over to Layer, down to Smart Objects, and then down to Stack Mode. And then here, we wanna select Median. Click that and Photoshop is gonna take another second to basically process through all of these images and try to find images or the spots where the people aren't. So we're just gonna give that a second. Okay, so now it's completed and you can notice immediately how much better it looks. All the people are gone and all that's left is this beautiful temple. If you do notice here, if we zoom in a little bit here, you can notice that there's some weird colors going on here. Uh, you can see almost like the outline of a person here. That's more my fault than in, than Photoshop's fault. Actually, I can show you. If we pull up our images right here, and then I'll show you right here. If you notice, this section back here almost always has people in it. So as you can go through, you can see that most of the images here have people in it. So the reason that Photoshop couldn't take the people out is just because there wasn't enough information uh, or enough images where the people weren't there. So the 
best thing I probably could have done is taken a couple more pictures. If you notice my, my very last picture here, the people are almost gone from here. If I maybe waited you know, another minute or two, then this area might have been clear and we wouldn't have had these colors here. Um, however, that's a very minor thing. If you zoom out a little bit, you can actually barely notice it at all. It's not that big of a deal. Um, and then, you know, there's other things you can do. You could use a stamp tool and kind of touch this up. Um, but for me, that looks perfectly fine. I mean, to go from an image that was basically this with a whole bunch of tourists around to something that was like this in one click of a button is amazing. And Photoshop does an amazing job here at removing the people here. All right, and that is going to do it for that effect. Um, like I said, it's a real quick and simple effect, and it can make your shots look amazing. But it takes a little bit of uh, planning, a little bit of of patience to actually lock down the camera or to take really, really steady handheld shots to get this effect to work well. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to put them in the comments below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you wanna see videos similar to this one, click that subscribe button. I make a video every other day, or at least I try to. All right, everyone, see ya.